So the laser scarecrow is a visual device for scaring birds, but it uses a moving beam of green light. Uh, birds are particularly sensitive to color. They're a lot more sensitive to color than we are. And so they can see the beam of light even when we can't. And birds also rely on sight and particularly moving shadow to detect predators because most of the predators that are going to come at them when they're feeding are coming at them from above. It's hawks, falcons, um, birds of prey. Okay. So the laser would kind of look like give a shadow. Right. So, well, so it's a moving light that the birds can see. First of all, it's unnatural. So that deters them because it's, even though the field is green, the laser is, a, is monochromatic green. Plants are not monochromatic green. We know that it frightens them. And when you've got the laser going, we run it just along the tassels, so the tops of the corn plants. Um, the birds will leave the field alone, where if you don't have the laser, you might have 60, 80, 100% damage. Really, that yeah. much? Yeah. Um, it's a real problem in fresh market sweet corn. It's very specific to fresh market sweet corn. The birds get in and they damage the husks. And once the husk is damaged, you can't sell that corn. I didn't develop the concept of using lasers to scare birds. That's been around for a while. Um, but in order for cooperative extension to recommend this as a method to farmers, um, we need to have scientific evidence that it actually works. So that's really what I'm trying to gather, as well as figure out the basically the best way to deploy it, the best way to design it, specifically for fresh market sweet corn um, and for our um, urban fringe farmers. Um, because the previous use of lasers to deter birds has mostly been at airports, industrial sites, um, you know, places like that where they're trying to cover a large area. They're trying to eliminate all birds. And they're not dealing with a crop interface. They're not dealing with neighbors. Part of the reason why you're doing this is yes. because the, uh, the propane, propane cannons? Yes. Neighbors do complain about this. Yes, and the problem with sound is that it moves 360 degrees, you know, you, not line of sight. And so it can travel a long distance and be very annoying then to neighbors, when you've, especially when you've got housing developments right alongside farms, as we do around here. So the, this is in Iowa where you've got right miles exactly of corn. This, exactly you have neighbors right there right exactly there. yes we designed it to be um, battery operated you can add solar to charge the battery um, which is you know pretty standard for a solar powered device um, runs on a 12 volt battery and it draws about three and a half amp out three and a half amps per hour. Um, so it can last quite a long time. Um, what kind of birds typically would bother a cornfield like this? So it's primarily red-winged blackbirds, starlings, and then to a lesser extent brown cowbirds. Okay. Um, They'll wipe out a whole field. Probably. Yes, yeah, because they form big flocks um, and they will come in and peel back the leaves on the corn, peck at the kernels. They move around a lot. Um, so they, it's not like they focus on one ear. They'll move from ear to ear, scratching at it, leaving droppings, and generally making a mess. 